Hey everyone, how you doing today? Um, today has been a really good day so far, and um, let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, you know, I'm laid off, sleeping in late. Well, I get a knock on the door, and um, turns out to be the uh, postman. So uh, he hands me a box right here. And uh, now this is the third time I've shot this video, guys. Um, first time my battery died on my camera. The second one, well, I wasn't really happy with. Um, so this is the third time, guys. And I'm going to show you something here, um, some things. Um, my buddy Joshua, um, his channel is Bushcraft Geek. And I will put that down below. Um, please, guys, check out his channel. Um, he's a bushcrafter at heart. And... Um, He's really innovative, and he knows how to use his noggin to get the most out of a buck. You know, money's not uh, very fluent in any of our lives anymore. So uh, he's got a lot of little tips and tricks, and uh, all his videos are, are very well thought out with a level of common sense that I don't see too often. Um, you know, so check out his channel but let's get going on this here um, so when I opened up this box I looked at it and I'm thinking okay buddy you just pulled one over on me because we had did we had did a trade for this knife one of my stoves because he needed another one of my Blue Hill stoves and um, so we did a trade well um, the other day when I talked to him um, he said well you know it wouldn't fit in an envelope, so, so I had to put it in a box. Well, it never even dawned on me. Put it in a box? What? You know, so I opened up this box, and I was really surprised, guys, because um, he sent me some really useful items. So first one here is the Leatherman uh, Trader C33L. Uh, uh, it's got the uh, um, finger flip, liner lock. It's got the nice... Um, belt clip here and it also has a bottle opener slash carabiner, uh, carabiner now this is a great little blade it fits really well in my hand and I've been looking for something better than my little uh, old timer that I've been carrying um, something a little more robust um, that's pretty sharp you know so Thank you, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Then I noticed the smell of fatwood in the box. And he sent me up some fatwood. Now, look at this stuff, guys. This stuff is just saturated. It is dense. It almost looks like a Lake Superior agate. It's uh, translucent, kind of opaque in color. Man, it smells wonderful. I might have to go on a fatwood hunt. In the next couple of days just to get more of it but thank you um, and it's the perfect size too you know so and I'll show you something here in a bit with one of these then he sent me some paraffin wax and some beeswax now I've been needing some beeswax for quite some time here and I've been checking the internet for prices and trying to find a local but um, nobody around here seems to have it so this is all going to come in really, really handy. I've got some uh, buddy burners I need to finish up, uh, some, some smaller ones. And um, so that's going to come in super handy, guys, this paraffin is. The beeswax, well, you know what? I can make a wood finish out of that. Um, I can make lip balm, hand lotion. Uh, it can be used as a fire starter. It has medicinal properties as well. So thank you. And then... Another cool thing that he sent me was this little uh, tea tumbler, this double-walled tea tumbler. Now, I love tea, guys, and uh, sweet tea, green teas, herbal teas, love them all, you know. My kid don't, so I've been looking for, uh, for a jug, you know, to make sun tea in, um, but I didn't want to buy a gallon jug because I would like to be able to have sun tea out on the trail where I could just throw this on the outside of my pack, it would shake around and, you know, make my tea up for me. Well, what's cool about this is it's double walled. I don't know if I can do this one handed. Let me try. Hold on a minute, guys. All right. Now the lid comes off, and it's got this uh, 
little plastic insert here. That's your little sippy cup area. And then inside, I don't want to lose that. Hold on. And then inside, it's got this little strainer bucket that you can put your tea bags in or your loose leaf tea or, you know, you can make pine needle tea out of this too or with this. Um, so you just put it in there. You put your, uh, then you pour your boiling water in, let it steep over it. You put your uh, sippy cup back on or your sippy lid and then you screw on your top. Now this can go in your, and it's double walled too, so there shouldn't be any problem with heat or cold, which is awesome. And uh, thank you, thank you very much. Now, let's get down here. He sent me a really another useful item. This little uh, haversack of sorts. Well, I have lots of ideas for this. Lots and lots of ideas. But, I've been looking for a new stuff sack for my ever new cook kit here. And honestly, guys, it fits in there perfectly. Plus, I can fit my spices in there, a couple of my Blue Hill ULs. I can throw some Sterno in there. I can throw my alcohol in there. And I will always have a spot to keep water. So as a one-stop shop for a mess, uh, mess kit, cook kit, you name it, this is going to be my bag for it. And what's cool is I can also put like a fire kit, first aid kit, um, fishing kit, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, fat wood, you know, and that's cut about perfectly, so that's good. And then on the inside here, let me get this Velcro loose here. All right, and you've got this pouch here, which will fit my Blue Hill stoves perfectly. I should be able to get two of them in there. Yep, side by side, perfectly, right there, guys. Then I can put my spices right in there. I don't know if I can do it one-handed, but they will fit. Nice and snug, just like it meant to be. Okay, and then on the inside I can use this, and I've been looking at these uh, these uh, carbon steel pans. Um, they're like a small pie tin of sorts, um, and then you just use your grab handle, you know, to take them off and on the fire, and they work great. They they season up like cast iron, and they're a lot lighter, so that'll also fit in here. And so this is going to be a great bag, man. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, again, guys, you know. I didn't expect any of this. <laughs> you know, the trade was for this knife. And you pulled one over on me, buddy. You know, so. Awesome. But if you guys haven't checked out his channel, please do. It's Bushcraft Geek. I'll put the link down below. And um, he's a good guy. He's, he's, he's full of common sense, thriftiness, um, you know, which is something we can all learn. Um, money doesn't go far nowadays, so we have to make every dime count. And um, I've learned a lot from him, you know, his, uh, his appreciation for life, his family. Um, it's all good. And um, I'm glad to call you my friend, buddy. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day, and we will talk to you later.